Hey guys, so today I'll take you through my own personal experience with um, the long-term usage of the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut uh, Thermal Paste and uh, how it performs on your system over the years. Uh, so if I can just re get right into it, right after my Thermal Paste, um, I noticed that I was getting temperatures between 70 to 75 degrees Celsius uh, during gaming, both on the CPU as well as the GPU. However, recently, I've been noticing that for prolonged sessions of gaming, I'm actually getting a lot worse um, frame rates and uh, thermal throttling just from the system running uh, for a longer period of time. So I actually thought about this and I, I realized that this might actually be, be because of the, the increased uh, dust buildup in the system as well as uh, this, the thermal paste degrading over time. So. I felt it was time to actually try and redo the thermal paste uh, entirely. Uh, so that's exactly what I'll run through briefly in this video and um, you'll see how my performance before and after is. Because you can see here I'm getting about 86 degrees Celsius uh, while gaming and um, with regards to more productivity based tasks like uh, here we have Cinebench R23 running and uh, you can see that the temperature is slowly going higher and higher and uh, it's now running at about 90 degrees Celsius on CPU load only. Now previously, um, while running at 45 watts, I'd get between 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. Uh, so this was also another worrying uh, metric that, that showed that the system really needed to be repasted. So uh, it's something that... Um, I ended up having to work on and uh, if you notice the more it uh, thermal throttles um, what you'll find is the clock speeds will actually go down to try and compensate with that or the power level will try and go down so um, with the repaste I decided that I'll go with uh, both a repaste as well as redoing the the thermal the thermal pads that 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 rest on the VRMs and the the thermal um, uh, pipes. So um, what I did is I disassembled the laptop. Uh, for a disassembly guide, uh, I'd recommend you follow the Bob of All Trades video for that. Um, but basically, just had to take apart the laptop, and there was a lot of cleaning and a lot of um, just general um, maintenance that I had to do to to just get the laptop as clean as possible and try and get all the surfaces as clean as possible. Um, over the over time, you'll find that. The more you rest your laptop on a, on a desk or on a table, once the table actually picks up some dirt, you'll find that that dirt actually transfers into the the cooling system a lot, a lot more. And once it builds up, it continues to build up because the dust particles actually collect amongst each other, and uh, you actually find that it it contributes towards worse um, thermal performance. So here I'm brushing uh, a couple of the fans and uh, just trying to get all the dirt and grime as much away from the system as possible. And then finally you undo all the screws for the uh, heat sink and uh, you pry it off. And uh, once you pry it off now you can uh, start the, the process of getting the new thermal paste as well as the new thermal pads onto the system. So for this particular system I was able to use a one millimeter uh, thermal pad uh, from Amazon that actually worked quite well and they fit perfectly. You just have to do a bit of cutting to make sure that the pieces fit um, exactly onto the, the VRMs and any other components that are covered. And uh, so before you do that you need to make sure that you clean all the surfaces very well. Make sure you have a thermal um, surface cleaner as well as the purifier and uh, once you have those two you should be able to clean uh, both the heatsink as well as the CPUs and VRMs very well and hopefully this gives you a better contact surface. Yeah so after the repaste I think you can already see that um, within Cinebench the temperature of the temperatures have gone down significantly and uh, now we are running at around 70 to 75 degrees Celsius as before 
uh, and this is at the 45 watt uh, TDP which means that pro for prolonged periods um, you'll actually find that your system will perform even better than factory um, performance however just because I've been running the thermal grizzly for about two years now uh, just over two years uh, the original thermal grizzly thermal paste had had started fading away and uh, I believe it's it started drying out and once it starts drying out uh, the thermal efficiency uh, goes down significantly so you find that you might need to repaste it um, after one to two years depending on your specific use case uh, normally if you run the, the computer a lot hotter um, the thermal paste will will dry out a lot faster so normally for maybe high, more high intensity workloads and systems and um, operations you'll find you might need to, to run that repaste a lot more sooner yeah, then here we all, we also have um, the IDA64 uh, stress test. So this stress test is running on the stress, the CPU, the FPU, the cache, as well as the system memory. And here you'll find again very good performance. We're keeping in the 75 degrees uh, range at 45 watts TDP. And this is actually very good because you can see the system is not uh, flagging any thermal throttling or any performance issues and uh, it's actually doing very well and I'm actually happy to say that uh, it's gone back to the original state that it was when I first repasted the CPU even in games now um, the performance is significantly better um, we're actually now keeping within the 68 to 70 degrees Celsius on uh, Dirt Rally 2 uh, it's not a very intensive game but uh, I believe it was a, it's 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 a game that covers high CPU, um, relatively high CPU usage as well as very high GPU usage because it's more of a GPU bound game. So it actually shows that uh, the system is able to stabilize at around the 70 degree range uh, while running games for extended periods, which is, in my estimation, about 15 or so degrees uh, lower than how it was before with the old uh, um, th uh, thermal grizzly that had worn out over time so um, this is actually very good performance and uh, it's basically taking the system back to to where it was previously which is uh, something that I think we'd all be able to appreciate uh, knowing how these powerful systems can really be um, throttled by thermal limitations yeah, so that's uh, more or less been my experience with uh, repasting the Thermal Grizzly um, Cryonaut. Uh, just to give you a bit of a recap, I did this after about two years of um, using the original Thermal Grizzly. And uh, it was just um, a decision that I made based on how I noticed my system was running a lot hotter. And uh, I felt like I needed to, to take my system back to where it was previously in terms of the thermal performance so um, after doing this we can know we can clearly see this the temperatures have easily gone down by about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius which is actually very good and I'd, I'd expect it to keep at this point for let's say the next at least a year uh, considering the kind of workloads that I use which is um, both gaming as well as um, 3d rendering and uh, video rendering yeah, so uh, that's more or less been the video. Um, I'd I'd, li I'd love to hear your feedback about this as well as your experiences. Um, so in case of any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.